Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da habita fillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem. After Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yusabbihu lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard. Lul mulku Allah al-humhu ala kulli shayin qadir. Huwa alladhi khalakakum. Faminkum kafir wa minkum mu'min. Wallahu bima ta'amalun basir. Khalaka samawati wa al-ard bil haq. وصوركم فأحسن الصور صوركم وإليه المصير يعلم ما في السماوات والأرض ويعلم ما تسرون وما تعلنون والله عليم بذات الصدور. الله تبارك وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم in Surah Al-Tabaghan after بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful Allah عز وجل says يسبح لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض he says all things in the creation they praise everything that is in the samawat in the heavens وما في الأرض and that which is in the earth <clears throat> they praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they glorify him له الملك ولا الحمد and for him is the dominion. And for him is all praise. Alhamd. Al Itlaq. There is the it is full praise for Allah Azza wa Jal. And he is over all things omnipotent. He is the one who created you. And from you, meaning those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created, there are mu'mins, there are believers in Allah Azza wa Jal. Women whom kafir, and then there's who's, those who disbelieve in Allah Azza wa Jal and disbelieve in his ayat. His ayat kauniya was ayat shariya. Wallahu bima ta'amaluna basir. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees everything. Tabarak wa ta'ala. He's the all seeing. Wallahu bima ta'amaluna basir. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is full aware and sees everything that you do. خَلَقَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ بِالْحَقِّ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the heavens and earth بِالْحَقِّ with the truth. And so there's no denying Allah Azza wa Jal. And that this creation was created by Him subhanahu wa ta'ala for us to, to, to ponder over. He created بِالْحَقِّ لَيْسَ بِالْبَاطِلِ He, tabarak wa ta'ala, created this creation with a, a sure reality that this reality <clears throat> is temporary. This reality is temporary. And if we reflect on the ayat, kawniya wa ayat shari'iyah, that that should lead us to worship Allah alone and be ready for the reckoning, meaning yom al qiyamah. وَصَوَّرَكُمْ فَأَحْسَنَ صُوَّرَكُمْ وَإِلَيْهِ الْمَصِيرِ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He created us in, in various shapes. And in the best of shapes or forms, and to Him we shall return. And He knows what is in the heavens and the earth. وَيَعْلَمُ مَا تُسِرُّونَ وَمَا تُعْلَنُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what is uh, done openly and what is done behind closed doors. Wallahu alimun bi that to And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fully aware of what is contained in your chest, in your breast. Here in this ayat, this is not to meant to be uh, tafsir as far as going to the tafsir of Ahl al ilm. But this is just for us to reflect and ponder. And that's why I read these ayat in order for us just to really reflect on their base meaning, on their zahir ma'ani, on the, the apparent meanings which are so clear that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that everything praises Allah Azza wa Jal. And for Him is do all the praise and glorification. And so... We need to reflect on that. The more we talk about Allah Azza wa Jal, the more we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's a way of combating the kufriyat wa shirkiyat that's contained in this creation and all those things which are here to uh, 
disengage you from the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the, the prophet alayhi salatu wa his sunnah, and to take us away from the remembrance of Allah azza wa jal. All of these things in the dunya and all of these ways that people try to belittle you and people try to destroy you and people try to harm you physically, mentally, spiritually, and in your honor. Think about how many of our brothers and sisters who consider us to be mubtadia, consider us to be from people of desires and bid'ah. Then there's others that make takfir of us, claim that we are disbelievers in Allah Azza wa Jal. They totally destroy, in their eyes, our Islam. And then there are those who are disbelievers in Allah Azza wa Jal, and they hate you because you, have, you represent Iman. And there are so many various tawa'if of people, various uh, people out there who want nothing good for you. So the mu'min faces all of that and at the same time remembers that no one can harm them. No one can hurt them. No one can take away from them except with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fully aware of everything and everything in the creation praises him. So when we praise him, we feel better about ourselves. When we praise him and glorify him, we feel better about our deen. When we praise him and glorify him, we feel better about our path because it's a steep path. And may Allah bless us all with success. So these ayat, they also show us that we have differences. Look at all the fitna and all the discord and things we're, we're dealing with right now uh, because we are painfully uh, confronting racism and racism within our community as Muslims. The inner hatred that we have between us. We have people who hate one another because of their race and they're Muslim. You know, at least they profess Islam and what have you and they were born Muslim or they embraced Islam. But we have so many forms of racism, so much form of discord and prejudice towards one another. And it's all coming to the fore. It's just being highlighted now. In a few months, it will blow over, it will pass. Many people will go back to their regular lives. Many people will not have changed. But the good thing about these kind of trials and tests and these things coming to the forefront is it exposes some and others, it will bring out the best in them. And they will actually try to make positive improvements in their lives and the lives of others by being a part of good. And so it's important, a habitifillah, that we remember, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the last ayah, he tabarak wa ta'ala says, وَيَعْلَمُ مَا تُسِرُونَ وَمَا تُعْلِنُونَ وَاللَّهُ عَلِيمٌ بِذَاتِ sudur. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and he knows what you do openly and what you do in private, or what they do openly and what they do, uh, what you do openly and what you do privately. Wallahu alimun bi that tisudu. And Allah is fully aware. He is full knowledge of what is contained in our hearts. So my advice to myself and my brothers and sisters is to work on the hearts. Work on cleaning your heart. So that whatever way that you represent Islam, and however you interact with the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you do it in a manner pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with a clean heart. Because a clean heart is the only way for success. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in an authentic hadith in Sahih Muslim, he said sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, he said, inna fi jizid mudgha, idha salaha salaha jizid kullu. وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ فَسَدَتْ جِزَدَ كُلُّهُ أَلَا وَهِيَ قَلْبُ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Verily in the body is a morsel of flesh. If it is healthy, the whole body is healthy. If it is sick, then the whole body is sick. Verily it's the heart. Clean your hearts. Worship Allah. Glorify Allah. Praise Allah Azza wa Jal. Strive to be of the mu'mineen, the sadiqeen, the truthful believers in Allah Azza wa Jal. Free yourself from the evil shackles of sin and prejudice and racism 
and hatred for one another. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.